When you see this icon, pause the presentation. Restart when you're ready. The eSkill National 5 Gaelic Learners course was developed with the help of the following bodies. The verb in Gaelic 1, giving orders and instructions. Now we've encountered quite a lot of verbs so far throughout the course, but what we're going to start looking at is how it works and why it works the way it does. And to do that, we have to look at, go right back to the roots. So the verb, we've already discussed how Gaelic is a verb, subject, object language. That means that the verb is very important in Gaelic, it always comes at the start of the sentence. But, as we've seen in Gaelic, other verbs can appear in the sentence as well. For example, ha mi furuch al nan Glasgow. I live in Glasgow. I am living in Glasgow. I am and living. So we have two verbs in that sentence. But all verbs in Gaelic have a root, a bit like a tree, in fact, very much like a tree, from which all forms, the past, the present, the future, come from. And also the other crucial form known as the verbal noun, which appears throughout the language. And we'll explain that seemingly contradictory term as we go forward. Verbal noun. So, the verb that you have dealt with the most, and we've dealt with mo mostly, are sentences that begin with ha, va, or be, and their negative forms, chanel, charo, and it's chavi. And they all part and part of the verb be, just to be, be. And these are used in some very simple instructions, and these are ones that you can use the vast majority of the time. Bisavoch, be quiet. Bisavoch, be mogul, be well behaved, behave, be mogul. Be fakeawoch. Be fakeawoch. Be careful. Be fakeawoch. Be fujinoch. Be patient. Be fujinoch. So very simple. What you're doing there is you're saying be some whatever you think, and, and it's just like in English. It's very very similar to uh, the same type of pattern in English. Just behave. Be quiet. Be careful. Be patient. Be savoch. Be mogo. Be fakeawoch. Be fujinoch. But we can do that with other verbs as well. And here's some very common orders coming up. Doin and Doris. Doin and Doris. Doin and Doris. Foskal and Unyak. Foskal and Unyak. Career and Solace. Career and Solace. Career and TV. Career and TV. Kurosh the hekkage. Kurosh the hekkage. Kuryat the vrogan. Kuryat the vrogan. So there we have a list. So you're putting the verb at the start, and everything else comes after. Now here are some of the skilling. And if you've been doing this course from the start, you'll have seen this as an order throughout the course already. So some of these will be quite quite familiar to you. Isht, listen, isht. Screeve, screeve. Yave, yave. Brewing, brewing. Waver, waver. Rounsich, Rounsich. Kaet, Kaet. Shall, Shall. Say them with me. Ish, Screeve, Yave, Brewing, Waver, Rounsich, Kaet, Shall. And here's some orders that you might hear in a classroom. Gian Jawav, Taring Jawav. Gian Jawav, Taring Jawav. Do or draw a picture. Gianne, do it. Gianne. Horgo, give to me. Horgo. Horemach, take out. Horemach, Nayorichen. Take out the books. Horemach pencil. Take out a pencil. Fai get. Fai get. So fai the vaca. Get your bag. Fai the vaca. Gaff 
Gav, Gav Pion, take a pain, and Gavir the Hawker, take it easy. Gavir the Hawker, take it easy. So we'll see them again, say them with me. Gian Jawav, Taring Jawav, Gianne, Horhu, Horemach, Thai, Gav, Gavir the Hawker. We'll revisit some of those verbs later on. Now in Gaelic there's sorts of movement orders as well and these ones are quite uh, important and these are ones you can use quite a lot in your everyday uh, activities. Now there's two words in Gaelic for stop. There's stat, scud. Stat is like stop, like moving. Scud is like quit it, quit, scud. So stat, full stop, scud, like quit or cease. So let's say stat skur. Furich minaj. Furich minaj. Fan. Fan minaj. That's a dialectal um, word there, another word for kind of stay. Grezorscht. Hurry up. Grezorscht. Shuet. Move. Shuet. Hik is jach. Hik is jach. Throw it. Throw it. Chucking. Chucking. So you'll see there, there's a quite, these are quite uh, very onomatopoeic in a sense, but they're also, you'll notice as well, there's various different words for come. Hik is kind of make a motion of go from one place to another. Come in. Hik is jach. Throw it. Come on. Like, throw it. Again, chucking is just would be used for come along with us. So there we have a various range of them. Let's go through them one more time though. Stat, skur, furich minaj, fan, grezorscht, shuet, hik isjach, throwet, chucking. Now we should have had idr hengich. Eter hengi. So we've got a translation exercise here. Hig is jach. Dun and doris. Agus sui shias. Five piece paper. Agus hor goe. Gianne. Agus anorshin. Gavar da hoke. Ist rishin yeren. Agus skrive ne frigerstin. Stad ignesolish. Furi in shin. Shuet. Rui. Agus leem. So translate those into Gaelic and you into English, sorry, and move on to the next slide when you're ready. And there are the answers. Now we have a few of those orders here. You might have used actually some of those were in the previous slide. And here's some orders. You see you. You don't need to necessarily see she is. That's quite a common one. See she is, but. So you, you're sitting, so you're going to be sitting down. Shes, stand. Shes, suas, stand up. Tok, lift, raise, build. Tok is a very, very widely used um, verb. Tok. Goish, move. Goish, that would be more move something. Move maybe a box, maybe the box that you haven't lifted. Tok. Rui, run. Rui, yame. Jump, yame, dujk, wake up, dujk. You remember we've done that one, we we're talking about our day. Erich, get up, erich, skiplich, tidy, knee, wash, I guess glan, clean, glan, clean. Now, when you're speaking to older people or to groups of people, in the same way that there's tap alacht and tap alive, um, and we use shiv for groups, older people or plural groups, um, we add that. E, that also applies to the verbs you use. So, the end of all root verbs, this sound if comes on, and it's the same sound, um, except that when you do it with a Verbs with the last vowel is a broad vowel, a, o, u. 
you, you write a i b h. So you'll see there gav iv, yev iv, skriv iv. Okay. Whereas if it, the last vowel in the verb is a slender vowel, um, usually e, e or e, it will usually be an i. Remember that in Gaelic that an i is always an e, and an e is always an a. So a or e, ish jiv. Hig if so it's the same sound, um, but it's it's spelt differently just to allow the Gaelic pattern of broad to broad, slender to slender to continue. For B, you had if B if so B if Saloch B if Mughal B if Faikalo. So there is a slightly different syllable there B if Saloch B if Mughal B if Faikalo. So here we have a um, range of different um, uh, verbs here. You don't necessarily need to know what they are. You just need to know how to change them to if or AIBH or IBH. So once you've done that, and you'll see on the next slide the answers. And here are the answers. Um, they're all there. Fayiv, Shuativ, Ichiv, Olive, Kainichiv. Tokiv, Goishiv, Lemev, Smunichiv, Lassiv, and you'll, there's two things happen with Fregir and Foskil. They become Fregriv and Foskliv. Um, uh, that's quite common with, there's a little a syllable switch, and um, that happens here with just a, a, a couple of, a few verbs, but not many, so you don't have to worry too much about it, but Fregir and Foskil are two very common verbs, so be very aware of those two. Um, plural verbs with a prepositional pronouns when they're involved. Um, so certain, well you'll notice Gresorst, okay, which is hurry up. It becomes Gresiv Uriv, Gresiv Uriv, because you're you're um, saying hurry upon you. So Gresiv Uriv. And then also, um, if you're telling somebody to take off their shoes, you're speaking to somebody older, you say Kuriv Yev Ur Brogan. So there's three things that change in that one. Put of you your shoes. Kuriv Yev Ur Brogan. Now, roots and verbal nouns. Now, we talked about verbal nouns earlier on. That word, especially if you've grown up in a kind of Scottish education, you'll be knowing that a noun's a naming word and a verb's a doing word. Okay? And that's probably about as far as your primary school teacher took you. No offence to the primary school teachers out there. But um, verbal noun is really just the name you give to an action. So if you can put the in front of anything it, or something, it can be a noun. So, for example, the singing was very good. The singing, even though it's not a thing, like a physical thing, it's a thing that we can see what it is. The singing was good, okay? So, and shine, uavastochma. And shine, uavastochma. And the verbal noun is that part of the verb that we used with ha, va, etc. so far. So we've done that a lot when we're talking about time, using va and be. Uh, for example, here's a very common one. Ha me a dooskig. I'm waking up. Dooshk, wake up. Ha me a dooskig. I'm waking up. So that verbal noun is that bit that comes after the uh, apostrophe. So the verbal noun has is used in two different ways, common in Gaelic. Now if it's at and it's got, there's a little bit of technical language here. The bit that you won't actually hear people, most people refer to just as the verbal noun. Um, but it is technically called the participle. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments on YouTube if you're a grammarian. But that's the doing thing, the thing that you're participating in. Hami a Gianev, I'm doing a Gianev. Jihau Gianev, Hami a Janu cake, I'm doing a cake. But whereas it's used with a, just a, not a apostrophe, because remember that apostrophe means there's a letter missing, uh, you use it to create the gal coin of the infinitive, a Gianev, to do. A yan of to do. So that's pretty much it with the equivalent of doing ing in, in English, okay? You're putting ing. Now, this is a slight problem though, because um so unlike English, where almost all verbs can create their verbal nouns or their participles, whatever, with ing, Gaelic has verbs which they all react within a range of ways in this part of the verb. So it's not random, but there are just lots of kind of little subsects and um, there's a book by a guy called Colin Mark which kind of groups them all together but you'll see here the kind of the range so there's ones where you add an eon there's ones where nothing happens there's ones where you put an ug there's ones where you go ach so you'll see it ich eat a gicha ich a gicha gav a gal 
Smunich a smunich ug, furich a furoch, bruin a bruin, scrive a scrivig, esch a geschjok, gluish a glusud, doun a doonig, foskel a fosklug, all a gall, upper a gupper, kur a kur. So that's important. Kur becoming a kur. Okay, that's the one that everybody gets wrong in Gaelic. Okay, fluent speakers and learners alike. Ami a kur. I am putting. Ami a kur. So you'll see there's a range there, and that's it. Now, if you're looking up a, a a verb in the dictionary, you'll usually get uh, the the verbal noun and the root. Okay, and you'll have to kind of go, maybe go through it to find it, or they'll probably have two entries, um, depending on the dictionary. But um, be careful that you that you know that it's the verbal noun or if it's the, the root, okay? Um, because that will affect where you use it in the sentence and also how you're using it, okay? But, um, so what you're going to do is here, you're going to have a little pattern here. So there are various patterns, like I say, to emerge over time. You'll, you'll get to know which what things work, what sounds right, um, and um, it's just a matter of learning that vocabulary book to use, okay, and try and use it. So try and find the verbal nouns of the following verbs. Um, if you want to pause this, and then once you've used a dictionary to find it, then you can move on to the next slide for the Fregerston. And there we have it. Lev, a yevig, cloich becomes a cloiche, or a cloich, you'll get both. Tig, comes a tixing, fag, a fagel, sulchich, a sulchachug, lian, a lianig, tug, a tugel, canich, a canoch, freger, a fregerst, toshich, a toshachug, kriachnich, a kriachnachug, raunsich, a raunsachug. So moving on, this is a very little simple little thing for you. Don't. So you want to tell somebody don't do something, it's dead simple, you just put the word na in front of it for the root. So, the guy for don't worry is na gav drug. Don't worry. Na gav drug. Na bigoroch. Don't be stupid. Na bigoroch. Na jiachnich. Don't forget. Na jiachnich. And na bi arui. So you can use it with b as well. Na bi arui. Don't be running and you'll see the the verbal noun in there. You could say na rui, but na bi a rui, don't be running. Na rui, don't run, but na bi a rui. Now, to finish off this part of the lesson, I'm going to look very quickly at this thing here because an irregular verb. Now, in Gaelic, other than be, which is super irregular, have a be, that shows how irregular it is, uh, there are 10 irregular verbs and that what that means is those verbs don't follow the same patterns as other verbs and you'll discover that as we move into the past and future tenses that verbs act in one of two ways okay they, they act in a way in the negative and they act in a way in the positive but they always will follow the same rules okay now with these 10 verbs you need to learn them they are absolutely crucial to being able to operate in Gaelic beyond just seeing Kim and How. However, you're like, oh my gosh, I've got to learn 10 verbs and how they work. Now, to put this into perspective, there are 400 plus common irregular verbs in English. There's only 10. And the good thing about them is, if you look at them on the right-hand side there, and look at the English, they are all very common things that you see all the time. So, that's what makes them easier to learn. So I'm going to bring them up onto the next slide. And here are their root forms. Fike. Fike. Cloin. Cloin. Fai. Fai. Hor. Hor. Hig. Hig. Gian. Gian. Rach. Rach, herig, herig, bear, bear, rig, rig, upper, upper. 
So learn them, get them down, say them in your sleep. And they also have their verbal nouns. And you'll notice that some of them are already starting to look a little irregular. Some of them not, but some of them are. A thiking, a clinching, a thying, a torched, a chain. We'll say those first five again. A thiking, a clinching, a thying, a torched, a chain. And then the next ones. A gianiv. A gianiv, a doll, a doll, a brie, a brie, a ruin, no, a rickshin, a ruin, a rickshin, and finally, a gra, a gra. Now you may know most of these already, but you need to know that they're irregular and they, that's what they come from. Now, B. There is no Gallic word for being. I can say there's no real Gallic word for having, but no Gallic word for being. Because this is usually covered by ha at the start of the sentence. So in Gallic, you wouldn't say he is being stupid, you would just say ha e goroch. Ha e goroch. He is stupid or he's being stupid. They, they both mean the same thing. So the quotes you get is a V for to be. So there is a V, and a V exists in the language. It's quite common. And you'll see it, for example, in this structure here, which is a structure that we're not going to look at just yet, but Hami Erevi Fudoch, and in Glasgow, is in Shachkin. I have been staying in Glasgow for a week. Or Haya Dolavi, on the Dunedin, he is going to be in Glasgow. Hami Erevi Fudoch, and in Glasgow, is in Shachkin. Haya Dolavi, on the Dunedin. So that's just a thing to note, okay? There is no Gaelic for being. If you're using ha at the start of the sentence, you're using ha. Um, so, to finish off, you're going to do talk, a wee role play. You're going to see a wee role play in the next wee slides. And uh, what you're going to do is take as many, go back to the unit, look as many of the orders that you can role play. It's best to do this with a friend, or you can um, you can only use orders. Don't even use a tapalat or a kimara hal, just use orders. Um, you can change the scenarios about uh, are you working with more than one person, or are you working with an older person? And remember to use if, E-I-B-H or I-B-H where appropriate. And watch the following example. Then with a partner or using animation or a presentation, make up your own example. So do whatever you want. Higgishach. Curry and curry. Curry at the vragen. Doing in Doris. So she is a divorced. Gabbard the Hawker. Opi Savoch. Nabi Goroch. Mahasha. So hopefully that wasn't too cringy for you. But anyway, um, just to finish off, using orders every day, try and use some of these orders in your everyday speech to get used to them, even if it's with yourself. E.g. Foskel and Doris. Um, you know, even when you're, you're going to open the door, just say Foskel and Doris, Foskel and Unyak, Down and Doris. Um, also use things like Higgishjach. You know, somebody's at the door, just say Higgishjach as they come in. You know, if you're motioning to them, they'll get it. And it's quite a good, simple way to teach um, children um, orders as well. Um, even use some of them with your pet, okay? Why she is. Okay, you know, practice it. And have fun with it. The orders are nice, simple ways to get a lot of vocabulary into your head and to do it on a basis that you're doing it. So anyway, tap live, and we will cover more verbs as we look at the past, present, and future. Uh, tense in the next couple of lessons.